what a thrilling finish it proved to be at Carnoustie Tea in the Open Golf Championship. It certainly was Ben Hogan's Open, no doubt about it. The trophy went to the greatest golfer in the world today. Wow. Sixth hole here at Carnoustie, Ben Hogan Open Champion 1953. In each of the four rounds of the 1953 Open Championship, Hogan chose the tight driving line between the fairway bunkers and the out of bounds fence. And this is, oh wow, this is Ben Hogan driver. Persimmon head, tiny compared to now modern sized drivers. Even got the screws in the face. Oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. I got four golf balls. I mean, this is some challenge to hit this driver down that gap. I can't wait. All right, shot number one. Oh, wow. That is a small head. I need to tee it up a little bit still because it's not got a lot of loft on. Oh, wow. This is, a, this is an honor to hit this. Let's see if I can do it service. Come on. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Oh, that's going to be tight. I hit that not in the middle and I got punished. I really got punished. Okay, so I think after that first shot, realizing that off centered hits with this driver don't massively work, let's go for shot number two. See if I can find the middle. Find, find that middle screw would be a good spot. Okay, I think Hogan won that one. Hogan won, Shields nil. Uh, <laughs> I believe it's still in bounds, but it's not the best shot. Right, come on. Better hit, but I've bailed out to the right. Smoked it. Still in bounds, but it's more favoring the right side. Didn't hit Hogan, Hogan's alley on that one. I mean, wind is off the left. I mean, I can't really use it as a huge excuse, and I know the wind gets ridiculously more severe than this here at Carnoustie. Come on, two more to go. Let's get one right down that fairway strip. Boom. Come on, wind, help me a bit. Yes. Oh, that's the one. All right. Okay, the, <laughs> the trick is definitely finding the middle of this. That one was much more out the middle. Each shot is getting a little bit better, which is a positive. One more to go. Okay, so this is fourth tee shot, so effectively the Sunday. Imagine the pressure. He's already done it three in a row. To go and do four would be quite incredible. Let's see if I can at least get two down there. Boom. Oh, boom. I got better each time. Get over that ridge. Yes. That's the trick. You just gotta, you gotta hit the middle and do it a lot. Oh, what an amazing experience to be able to hit that. Two out of four. I'd have probably taken that at the start. What an honor that really was to stand on the 6T, Hogan's Alley, down that gap with Ben Hogan's golf club. I mean, just an amazing feat. I mean, this is the only Open Championship that Ben Hogan actually played in. 1953, came over and even won the thing straight off the bat and never played in another one. Travel wasn't as common back then. And to be able to stand that tee and hit this driver was such an honor. And it really gives me a huge, huge level of respect. Not that I didn't have before, but even a greater level of respect of how good a ball striker these guys were. To hit that driver for that much accuracy to shoot those scores is quite incredible. Amazing. Guys, stay tuned. Loads more videos coming from here at Carnoustie in conjunction with the Open. Awesome honor. And uh, I think that was just such a great challenge. And what a, what a player, what a man. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon.